Hi, my name is Charlie and I'm from Pro One Racing. This is a second in a series of our in instructional videos on cylinder service. Uh, first of all, I want to show you what happens on a high mileage uh, motor. This is a piston out of this cylinder and as you can see, you look at this piston and you can see how the skirt is collapsed. And also you can see the damage that this piston does to a cylinder. Um, motorcycle cylinders and the new metric motocross bikes are uh, plated. They're called Nicosol cylinders. And the reason they use Nicosol is for a couple reasons. One, here we've got a new piston. As you can see, the short skirt that they use and that stuff. So these motors turn a lot of RPMs, so they need a nice tight surface for the piston to go up and down. And the other thing that you've got to be concerned with is the tr heat transfer from the plating to the water jackets. What a nickel cell cylinder, what they do is they take the aluminum cylinder and then they plate it with a three to five thousandths thickness of nickel and then it's honed to size for the clearances of the piston. Uh, you hear a lot of people talk about how do you hone a cylinder, a nickel cell cylinder. A lot of people use a ball hone. Well think about it, all this is is basically a brush that goes up and down and it will go anywhere it wants to to try to make a finish on the cylinder. The proper way to uh, do a cylinder service is to use diamond hones. These are from Sunnen. This is a diamond stone to cut the stone and this is the wiper blade that's used to help hold the, the hones square into the cylinder bore. What we're going to do next is we're going to take this cylinder, we're going to take it in back and we're going to show you how to diamond hone a cylinder to square the cylinder up. The other thing I want to make sure that you understand is that when we hone these cylinders, we're putting a nice finish on there for the so for the rings to seat, but also you're going to find that we don't do not take much clearance with this because the nickel sole is so hard. All right, what we're going to do first is we're going to measure piston. On a piston, the widest part is at the bottom of the skirt here. Okay. So we take this micrometer and we get the measurement here, and the measurement is 3.029. Okay, after we get that measurement, we want to transfer that measurement over to our uh, sun and dial bore gauge. So we come over here, we set our dial bore gauge up to 3.029, we put our dial, dial gauge in here, and we set to zero. Zero equals the piston diameter. All right, after we've got that set, we come over here and put this into the cylinder, and as you can see, we're on the left-hand side of the zero. We have two and a half thousandths clearance, and this is what the company calls out for the piston clearance on this piston to this cylinder. There we go. Fixed to the machine here, and now we're going to hone this thing out. This is the Southern CV616 home. We present the home to the cylinder. Turn the machine on. Here's our diamond home cylinder with our cross hatching manufacturer called out for the rings. That's how we diamond home cylinder. 